Welcome back to the Movie Trivia Schmodown Play Along Reaction Series. I'm Jeff Malikia, and if you love movies as much as I do, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I bring you all the latest movie news, movie reviews, trailer reaction videos, box office predictions, and of course, the Movie Trivia Schmodown Play Alongs. So hit that subscribe button, and then click that little bell notification icon so that you don't miss anything. We've got a great match on tap tonight. We've got Critically Acclaimed versus Late to the Party. This is going to be one hell of a match, you guys. Um, critically Acclaimed, of course, is William Bibiani and Whitney Seibold. Both of them are huge threats. Insanely knowledgeable. And then you have Late to the Party, who are just a bunch of fans. And, you know... They do basically what I'm doing right now. They react to the schmo down. They do movie reviews, stuff like that. And But they are also very knowledgeable. And so because Late to the Party are also reactors, I, I got to support them 100%. My money is on Late to the Party. It's not going to be easy, though. It is not going to be easy at all. There's a reason why Bibiani's nickname is The Beast, because he is an absolute beast at movie trivia. Um, I know a lot of people in their brackets have critically acclaimed winning it or even winning it all. Um, but again, i got to support my fellow reactors. Late to the party for the win. Enough of my talking. Let's get, go ahead, grab your whiteboard, and let's get ready to schmow down. All right. Here we go. Got a little bit of camera to shoot. This one is wide. This is jump cut. Finally have made it back to Let's go Robin the Vanessa. Video, and we've got a huge match today and ah. I just gotta say that critically acclaimed is going down. We definitely are gonna put in our all. We do not wait, have wait wait, 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 wait. What are you talking about? Wait, I know you guys. You I saw one of your reaction videos on the internet. <laughs> the one where you watched me eat my opponents. I remember you. You said you didn't know who I was. Well, I gotta say, after today, you're never gonna forget me. <laughs> Is that Harry Ellis from Die Hard? <laughs> Hans, <laughs> Bubby! <laughs> uh, I love those two. This is going to be a tough, tough match. I really want Late to the Party. Welcome back to the Not going to be easy for them. Schmodown. It's the team tournament. I'm Christian Harlock. I'm Ken Napsok. The crowd that we bust in from a local tourist destination is having a lot of fun, Christian. Well, why wouldn't they? Because the tournament has already kicked off, Ken. We've had some great matches so far, and we're only about two matches into this thing, three matches into this thing, and here we go. We have critically acclaimed, mm -hmm. who some say might be the favorites. They're not the number one seed, but a lot of people are- A lot of people have them going all the way. Thing, and they're facing, who? Oops. Late to the party. Yeah, the kids from Arizona, you say some people have critically acclaimed. I, I think an overwhelmingly am a strong amount of people have I'm critically so acclaimed going all the way. I'm so hoping for an upset Some people here. do, but I, I, look, when I posted that poll on the Facebook page, um, top 10 was still the overwhelming favorite. The top 10, the former champions are the number one seed, and they still are. And whether or not they're going to face their former teammate, William Bibiani, we don't know. But what we do know is critically acclaimed showed up and showed up big when they played in their first match against 
only stupid they answers. They are definitely a choice to be back in with. Four and I do not envy Robin Vanessa right at, at all bonus going up against critically acclaimed in the first Came match. Came out first time around, made quite an impression. But speaking of impressions in the first time around, those kids from Arizona, as I call them, I don't mean that disrespectfully. This is Robert Vanessa late to the party. They went from reacting to the show to being on the show. That could have been disastrous. But Christian, it was one that of was the a great game. performances we've ever seen, even though it was a well, loss. I just mentioned one out of the four. Well, another one out of that four is Robert from Late to the Party. He Indeed. is another part of that elite club, and he did it in his first match. They're both really, really good teams. A lot of people were saying, oh, man, if Late to the Party hadn't, you know, drawn yeah. critically acclaimed in their first match, they could go really far in this yeah, thing. If they would have got somebody out, easier, but I would be put them, like, two or three fight, rounds in. To, but to, late to, the party to go up against Bibiani and Whitney in the first videos, round. They consistently get questions Not going right. to be easy they for them. They were they proved it that they could do yeah. it under the lights. Yeah, that's the key, and this is the ultimate schmodown, Christian. Tough draws are what we need to see happen here. No one should get a cakewalk. All right, and now we're going to go and see exactly what they were saying to each other. Here we go. Oh, you've seen the rest. Now it's time for the best. You're, you guys are going to mow through this no problem. It's going to be the ultimate mow down. But first, <laughs> a warm up match. We have reactors. I've beaten reactors, and I'm garbage at trivia. Hello there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party, and guys, we are in the ultimate schmodown. Crazy. Did not believe that after watching season after season so of, of the schmodown. It just boggles my mind that we're here still, like, doing this, and it's amazing. We are going to go nuclear on those reactors. There's, if there's one thing I know about nuclear reactors, I've seen and they always explode. <laughs> All you gotta do is find the right button. It's big, it's red, it's got nuclear reactor explodey thing on it. <laughs> so these glowing green plutonium <laughs> rods of failure will just explode in our presence. Yeah! We are excited to be going up against Critically Acclaimed. We know it's gonna be a tough battle. We're bringing really the party tough. to them. People have That's been asking us, are we nervous about this match? Yes. Yes, yeah. we are nervous definitely about this match because the last time be Whitney too. showed up at a party, he screwed over John McClane. Hans, Bubby, I'm your white knight. Have you seen this guy? <laughs> he's a monster. He's a he's a, he's a sexy monster of facial say, hair and smug. <laughs> like he's so great at this, and we are going to just just mow down everybody in the schmodown, like the lawnmower man, but the original short story, not the movie. And it's gonna <laughs> like be the movie too. Like I, the don't, movie? I don't mind that that guy like mowed over people's brains. We are gods here. Lawnmower man is a guilty we pleasure, are man. Going I gotta to give admit. them another topic for their podcast. Canceled too soon. Is Ooh. gonna be basically <laughs> what critically acclaimed is. We gonna be. got that. Let's hope so. Unfortunately, yeah. but yeah, critically acclaimed is going to be the next topic for Cancel Too Soon. God, I, hope I have a right. message for late to the party. You should have arrived on time <laughs> like nice people do. That was your downfall. That was your failing. Your uppance is coming. Critically acclaimed is here. And never forget, we're, we're smarter, smarter than you. you. <laughs> Maybe not wrong. Sucker. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I'm not a fan of these Booker What's T up, guys? segments. What's up, guys? This Booker T, six-time world heavyweight champion, WWE Hall of Famer, and today, here on the Ultimate Smowdown, it's going down in team format, of course. We got critically acclaimed versus late to the party. Now, these kids have made their way all the way from Arizona to make their way into this tournament. You gotta love it. Fans loving the Smodown. Now they're in the Smodown. You gotta love it. Now these kids have been doing pretty good in Team Lee. But this right here, this is the big time baby. I think they may have hit a little roadblock because critically acclaimed has been looking real nasty, dog. They're looking good. It is not going to be they an easy match for Robin right Vanessa now. at all. And if I had a pick, if I had to pick somebody right now, it's going to be critically acclaimed going over, baby. One, That's two, not going to be easy. Just like that. Hey, guys, make sure you check it out. And also check out 
Reality of Wrestling, September, starting on Fight TV, guys. Make sure you download the Fight TV app. Do it! Do it now! I do it for you. As you see, I mean, obviously, I, what I love about Late to the Party is that they they come out swinging, and, and Robert, of course, mentions the fact about the being part of that elite club and kind of teasing Viviani that he's been there twice before, almost got into the club but couldn't do it. Um, and they just, they've been poking fun. They've been having fun with the Ellis thing from Die Hard right. uh, and critically acclaimed with Ricky by either side. Since joining Ricky, Viviani has a very, very different attitude throughout this whole thing. Absolutely. I recently had the chance to interview him on Inside Shmoda, and I looked him right in the eyes and asked him if he's, is he the best overall it wasn't a moment of hesitation he believes it in his soul he claims he's going to be the only guy to hold both belts at the same time we'll see road starts now but now it's, Ken, it's time for tale of the tape yeah critically acclaimed what what oh big nino oh, what is this come on man what is this episode? I don't know. all right well uh you, get out you, of here you, you, you shouldn't even be in the building now a word from your commissioner yeah oh, good lord what all right what do you want moron you see all the online support i'm getting yeah, about to what? Be the next commissioner. About leaving town? You? Oh, yeah, you'll see. Yeah. Your day's are number two, Knapsack. Yeah, uh, yeah what, what? Let, me, let me tell you something. The day that you are the commissioner is the day JTE wins a spelling bee on Ocho 8. <laughs> well, that could happen. Yeah? Well, no, yeah, that could happen. Okay, great. What well, listen, mean? the real reason why I'm here. Yeah. This tournament, the tag team tournament, is pretty much useless. Because mm. it's 16 people, then it's going to be eight people. Then it's gonna you be mean 16 people, teams? Then it's be two teams, then it's going to be one team. The bottom line is, they're all going to be losers. Yeah. You, you saw what the Patriots did to Modoc or whatever they're called. I, I they think, smoked that team. I think it's kind of funny the fact that you're coming out here right before critically acclaimed plays to, uh, are you nervous? I'm not. Okay. I'm here to study my opponents. Oh, oh so you think they're going to win the whole thing? Yeah, the Patriots couldn't make it, so I'm going to sit out here and watch these clowns okay. you know, do battle. All right, well, get out of my sight. Well, wow. Your days are numbered, both right, of you guys. Thank you, get uh, out of here. Let's make no mistake. Uh, right, and, and you don't have <laughs> online support. Screw you guys. All right, all right, you're going home? Okay, <laughs> bye, Carter. All right. All right. Sorry, all right. sorry that happened. Let's get yeah. back to the show. Uh, critically acclaimed their strengths are, well, pretty much knowing everything across the board and believing in it. Late to the party, their strengths are reacting, surprising the pundits, and long drives. <laughs> <laughs> they are good at that. All right, what about what about critically acclaimed? I, I, you just I said that. I just said it. You just said it. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Sorry, he threw me we're, off. We're both having a tense. It's tense up here. I don't like know? that. I don't like that individual. He's a despicable person. Yeah, well, Finn's not that. Uh, it, well, Tom, Who whatever cares? he's calling. All right, we're like all that. thrown off. All right, are yeah. you ready to go? Uh, I think I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's time, time for the movie trivia schmodown. Introducing, Introducing first. first. Representing Arizona, all of it, with a record of zero wins, one defeat, Robert, Vanessa, they are late to the party! Oh, Congo line. Congo line? The Congo line. Oh, 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 there they are. Wait a minute. How weak in the Bernies. I see it. Oh, weak in the Bernies. I see what's going on here. Very nice. That's uh, good. They this had so much fun. This is, uh, yeah. This is, uh, we got some great dancing going on out there. This I like when good people do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is good. Do we have a chance that these good people can actually be critically acclaimed? What do you think? I, I think there's a chance. Do not count them out. We saw if they did. That was a, a loss, but it was one that put them on the map. And that's yeah. all you need to do sometimes. All on right. your first outing. Well, they're here with... All right, the dancers nice. are walking good away. Intro. That's two great intros that Late to the yeah. Party has had for sure. Yeah. And their opponents. Representing the Growling Commandos. With a record of one win, no defeats, with one knockout. The Beast, William Bibiani, and the Beauty, Whitney Seibel. Critically, oh, oh, they're blasting up the entire yeah. studio right now. Lasers going everywhere. This is insane. This is, this is yeah. yeah. This is now. This is something I, different though. What I will say here, what yeah. is very different about this, this is the first time in a while we haven't seen the jumpsuit. Yes. By Bibiani. Is yeah. this going to be a good or bad? It thing? could be a new a new era in Bibiani's career. This yeah. could be a bit of a turn. Uh, we we do have Whitney and 
He really does look like Ellis and He really does. It, it throws me <laughs> he off. Really does, but he, he, he gave a really cold stare yeah. to Robert. It, yeah. it, it, it made Robert give him a handshake. It was yeah. weird. And uh, yeah. the Growling Commandos. I took one of those on a camping trip once. A Growling Commandos? Yeah. Was that after Taco Bell? Yeah. yeah. Round number Round one, one works like this. Competitors will get eight questions. They will write them on the board. When it is time to show their answer, they'll show it to the camera and say it at the same time. 15 seconds to answer the question. The JTE rule, meaning they can they have three times throughout the entire match that they can ask to repeat it. There's also a challenge rule. If they do not like the way a particular question went, they can challenge that question. All right, so critically acclaimed, are you guys ready? Ah. Oh, yes. All right. Late to the party, are you ready? Three guys, one girl. What's the count, boys? Kinky, we are ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> then let's, let's get, get ready, ready to, to Schmodown. All right. All right, here we go. Question number one. Category of animated. In American Tale, Fievel goes west. Which legendary actor voices the character of Sheriff that, Wiley um, Burp? I also took one of those on a camping trip. Was a Wiley a Burp? Wiley Burp, yeah. All right. Oh. Um, uh, I, I think that's true. Yeah. All right. Five, four, three. Jimmy Stewart. Two, one. Pens down. Beast. Shot in the dark. Charlton Heston? Incorrect. Vanessa. Did not get it. Whitney. Was it Sam Elliott? Incorrect. Robert. Wow, no, no one got it. James oh. Stewart was the answer. Oh. James Stewart was That's the fine. answer. Wow, so for so it doesn't look like that perfect round is going to happen. Look at that. Do not have. answer that question right <laughs> Thank away. You. So we basically start right now. Here yeah. we go. Crowd is a little sunny. We got Tom walking around. It's kind of off putting. Yeah. Uh, second question category is comedies. Who plays Agent 99 in the motion picture Get Smart? The recent Get Smart. Um. Steve Carell's the main guy. Say it. Go ahead. No, no I just, Tom's, you know, he says he has online that. support, um. but those aren't the websites you want to be on. Those are designed to keep our neighborhood safe. Five. Four. Can I hear it again, please? Yep. That Who was that? One. Was that Robert? In That's Hathaway. Robert. Okay. Who plays Agent 99 in Get Smart? Five, four, three, two, one. Vanessa. Steve Carell. Incorrect. Whitney. Anne oh. Hathaway. Correct. Correct. Robert. Anne Hathaway. Correct. Right. Beast. Anne Hathaway. Correct. All right. Pretty good claim. Taking a two to one lead here. You have right. points on the board. Next category in the category of dramas. Hugh Jackman plays a desperate father looking for his missing daughter in Prisoners. Who plays his friend Franklin, whose daughter also went missing? Oh, um, you know, I took a Hugh Jackman on the <laughs> <laughs> I was ready for it. I was going to ask you if you ever went missing. Uh, I am still uh, at it. <laughs> you sure are. Five, four, Three, two, no, I got nothing. one. Pens down, please. Whitney. Jake Gyllenhaal? Incorrect. Right. Robert. Ewan McGregor? Incorrect. Beast. Jeffrey Wright? Incorrect. Oh, really? Vanessa. Jake Gyllenhaal. Wow. Incorrect. Oh. Big swing and whiff. Looking for Terrence Howard. Oh. Terrence oh. Howard. Wow. Terrence Howard. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable here so far. This is not the way a lot of people thought hey, this would this go. This is <laughs> the yeah. ultimate showdown. What is going on? The here ultimate showdown. It's like an ultimate like reality. Tonight, like, like. All right, guys. Question four. Mm. Category horror thriller. Tippi Hedren plays young socialite Melanie Daniels in which oh. Alfred Hitchcock flick? Oh. You one time took an Alfred Hitchcock flick. My beards. <laughs> is that what they call it in college? Uh, no, I just took a poop. No. Five. Four. I love you. Three, two, one. Robert. Brenda? Incorrect. That's Beast. not even a what? what? Beast. The it's, birds. It's correct. correct. Vanessa. Psycho. Uh, and Willie, uh, Whitney. The birds. Correct. All right. All right. Pretty good claim. Starting to make a little move here. Next question in the category of action adventure. What movie starring Patrick Swayze and Charlie Sheen centered around resistance fighters during a World War III style scenario? Yeah, I once spent a weekend locked in a pyramid with Charlie Sheen. Yeah. But Don. How did you come out after that? I'm still there. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Beast. Red Dawn. Correct. Red Dawn. <laughs> Red Dawn. Correct. Red. Whitney. Red Dawn. Correct. And Robert. Red Dawn. Everybody gets around that time. <laughs> Six three. Right. Late to the party. Six there was to never three. a remake. I don't want to hear anything about it. All right, <laughs> All right guys. <laughs> Whitney just earned about 80 points in my book for that wonderful statement. Uh, guys, question six. Category is family films. How did a toon kill Eddie Valiant's brother oh. who framed Roger Rabbit? Who framed JTE? Uh, himself. Well, 
Fortunately, not the Ecuadorian government. I've been trying to get that to happen. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Vanessa. A piano, piano on his head. head. Correct. Oh. Whitney. Dropped a piano on his head. Correct. Correct. Robert. Dropped the piano on his head. Beast. <laughs> Dropped the piano on him. All, All right. right. There you go. That works. Late to the party is hanging in there. Yep. They're staying in there. All right. Here we go. Next category in the category of rom coms. What is the name of one? Of the two meaning competing a cappella groups in Pitch Perfect. The Bellas. That's all you need. Just one. Is meaning a verb? I think I did all right. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Whitney. The Barton Bellas. That is correct. Robert. The Barton Bellas. We'll give you, because you got Bellas. Uh, Beast. Bellas. Mm. Give it to you. And Vanessa. The Trevels and the Barton Bellas. <laughs> All right, we'll definitely give it to you. 10-7 <laughs> there. All right, here we go. The well Bellas. done. Well done. <laughs> Bellas were the more popular team, apparently. Mm -hmm. All right. Final question in this first round, teams. Category is fantasy, sci-fi. In the Lord of the Rings trilogy, how many ring race, a.k.a. Black Riders, a.k.a. Nazgul, were there? This is something out of the inner geekdom book. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I see Rachel Cushing out there, not even sweating over yeah, this Yeah, the answer's Four. not James Bond, I'll tell you that. Oh, <laughs> look, you got to bring that up. Now oh, she hates yeah. me again. Rachel, All I'm right. sorry if I get this wrong. Five, four, three, two, one. Robert. Five? Incorrect, sir. Beast. Uh, I had also said five. Incorrect. Vanessa. I also said five. <laughs> and Whitney. I said 15. Well, <laughs> well you shot high. Should have gone in the middle. It was nine. 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 Ah, nine. That was my second. Good nine. luck to me. Both Emma, Emma and Rachel screaming yeah, at the Yeah, absolutely. Screaming. Wow. I didn't All right, have the bad round. round. I went six for eight. Not, not horrible. They land on a category. They have to choose it if it lands on opponent's choice. However, they can spin it again. Six out of eight for the Facebook the uh, fan reaction league. Worth two points apiece. If they go to multiple choice, one point. You can bring steal out the wheel of death. Six here we go. Total questions. Critically acclaimed. You guys are in the lead here. Would you like to go first or second? Whitney, your choice. Let's go second this time. We're gonna go Ooh, second this time. Jump. Interesting. All right. So late to the party. You guys are up. Give it a good spin here, Vanessa. All right. Big spin. Big spin. That's good. That's not good a spin. That's not a spin. 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 I mean, whammy, spin. whammies. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Classics. 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 Oh, let's spin again. They're going away from classics. Oh. All right. Oh. Away from classics. Okay. Robert Robert's going to come in. and uh, Robert's coming up. Oh. Either. Yeah. This is what they did last time. They what they did the last time. time. Yep. They don't You're like right. it. That's a good strategy. Well, they lost last time. That's problem. Oh. <laughs> good spin. Good spin. Good spin. Good spin is in again. Does it coming to a Robert stop. Uh, it's going to land on. Oh, again. get off a point choice. Comedy. Just avoiding oh, it. Just avoiding wow, opponent's choice. A wow. Disaster, but it wasn't, and it goes to wow. comedies. All right, here we go. First question. In Bridesmaids, what was the name of Annie's bakery that failed in the recession? Cake Baby. For two points. Correct. Two points. All right. All right. What is the name of the band that Scott plays in in the film Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? Sex bob -omb? That's right. Correct. That's right. There you go. Late to the ah, late. Going into the lead here. Question three. Who plays Pam's ex-fiance, Kevin, in Meet the Parents? Oh, uh, Owen, Owen Wilson. Wilson. Two more Two points. More points. <laughs> late to the party now. Coming to play. Question four. Who plays the title character in the 2001 shit bomb comedy, Joe Dirt? David Spade. Love, love. <laughs> <laughs> Defender in the back. Though. I like that movie. Could you repeat the question, please? All right. Who, plays, was, uh, who plays the title character in the 2001 comedy, Joe Dirt? David, David Spade. Spade. Two, more Correct, points. two more points. Wow. Late to the party here. Really playing. He got a five-point lead now over critically acclaimed. Who plays Simon Skinner, manager of the local supermarket in 2007's Hot Fuzz? Timothy Dalton. Two more points. <laughs> All right. And your oh. final question. Your final question. Here come the fuzz. Who plays Martin Lawrence's undercover partner in 2000's Big Mama's House? <laughs> <laughs> Paul Giamatti. Two That's correct. Wow. Holy cow. Way to go. Party. 
crushing in that wow. round. Didn't have to go to multiple choice. Yep. Crushing it in that round. All right, All right. so now critically acclaimed Fantastic. needs to have a nice little round here because they are down nine points. Nine Who would points. have thought that was coming? All right, here we go, guys. Whitney, give it a good spin, please. I hear your sister's going out with Squeak. There we go. Hey. Good spin. <laughs> And there it is. Spin is in. in. Spin is in indeed. And trying to get past uh, where uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh, oh, Tempting fate. Gotta get that opponent's choice. They are tempting well, fate. <laughs> the spin is in. Tempting fate and going spin away from him. Spin is in. Spin is in. Spin is in. Uh, it uh -oh. might be uh -oh. going uh -oh. to. Oh! Yes. No. Hitchcock's. Hitchcock! No. Hitchcock! Hitchcock! Oh, Hitchcock! Oh, no. has been looking for Hitchcock since his match with Mance. Here we go. He has. All right, guys. Six oh, yeah. questions. Sorry, Question oh, one What movie had the villain falling to his death from the torch on the Statue of Liberty? Saboteur. That's correct. Two, Two points. points. Okay. This is it. Wow. Which Hitchcock movie featured a scene with 12 minutes of music, no dialogue, and 124 different shots in the sequence? Psycho. Psycho. Incorrect. What? Uh, for Steel. Vertigo. Incorrect. What was it? The Man Who Knew Too Much. Oh, this, uh. the orchestra scene. Question three of six. What Hitchcock movie had a scene filmed on Mount Rushmore? North by Northwest. That's correct. Yeah, two, oh, points. two points. All right. Question four. Who played Marion Crane's sister, Lila Crane, in Psycho? Vera Miles. That's correct. Two more right, points. Now they're playing. Now they're playing. What movie starred Marlene Dietrich with Jane Wyman as her maid? No. Five, four, three. Multiple choice. A, foreign correspondent. B, stage fright. C, no under idea. Capricorn. D, rich and strange. Under Capricorn? Incorrect for a steal. Can we hear the choices again? A, foreign correspondent. B, stage fright. C, under Capricorn. D, rich and strange. Stage fright? That's correct for One a point. point. Oh. Wow. Wow. That could potentially be a huge Big steal. steal. by late to the party. Final question, gentlemen, 6-1 is, what Hitchcock-directed film features Tippi Hedren and Sean Connery? And it's about a young woman that is a penchant for stealing. Marnie. Marnie. Yeah, for that's two. correct. There you go. All right. All right. So, oh, two-point uh, lead here for Late to the Party, but critically acclaimed missed two big questions there, and Late to the Party goes into round three with the lead. lead. All right, this is great. People are already Ooh. on their feet here, and we get to round number three. Here we go. Round number three is going to work like this. My love and Vanessa will pull this out. Between one and 20. Three numbers between one and 20. First one, two points. Second one, three points. Third one, five. After they hear the category, they will design which, which competitor will choose the two and who chooses the three. They can confer on the five. Late to the party. You guys are in the lead here. Please choose three numbers from one to 20. Nine. And 7-Eleven for Ken. Nine, seven, <laughs> eleven for Ken. Good choice. Nice. The Enjoy the sodium. All right, and critically acclaimed. Three numbers, please. Uh, four, fifteen, twenty. Twenty. Four, fifteen, and twenty. All right, I will be asking critically acclaimed who needs to tie it up here in order to send it back to late to the party. You guys chose category number four. You chose the category of Jennifer Lawrence films. No. Oh. Who would like to take the two-pointer? Oh, right. Jennifer Lawrence. Didn't realize that was a category. Take, but oh, sorry. Whatever. Do you want to take it or should I? Sure, I'll do it. Whitney will take it. Okay. Well, Whitney. Let me fail. Whitney. Yeah. I mean. What is the 2013 movie that Jennifer Lawrence starred with Bradley Cooper? Oh, uh, Silver Linings Silver Playbook. Linings playbook. It's incorrect. incorrect. <gasps> American Hustle. Mm. American oh. Hustle. All right. So now we go. Now we go to William Bibiani. You guys chose 15 for your three-pointer in order to take the lead and send it back. You chose animated. In Coraline, in the alternate world, what are her mother's eyes made out of? Buttons. For three That's points. Correct. Critically three acclaimed. Points. Now taking the lead. Back to late to the party here, Ken, who chose... All right, you guys chose number nine. That is the category of action, adventure. Who is taking the question? I will be taking the question. All right, Vanessa. 
in the recently released Baby Driver. Who played Baby's love oh. interest, Deborah? Um, Lily James. Yeah. Correct for two points. points. All right. Yep. So late to the party Lily goes James. back to now 22-21. So now it goes back. They can collaborate on this question. Critically acclaimed has number 20. If they hit this, it goes back to late to the party. If they miss, late to the party will advance to the second round of the tournament. Here we go. In the category of biopics. Biopics. Gentlemen, your five-pointer. Who played the high school math teacher Jaime Escalante in Stand and Deliver? No clue. Edward James Olmos. For five points. It's five points. All right, here we go. Now we go back to late to the party who will have the chance here. They will need to hit their three and their five in order to win the game or just their five, to be honest with you. Here we go. Ken, three-pointer now goes to Robert. Yeah, you chose number seven. The category is directors. Three-point question. Okay. Three-point question. Name a sports movie besides Bull Durham directed by Ron Shelton. natural oh incorrect all right what was the answer Man to the bone. uh we got yeah a tin cup white man can't jump and uh late to the bone thank you mm -hmm. all right so <sighs> late to the party now has Come to on, hit guys. their five pointer in order to win the game if they miss on, it guys. you can't do it yeah win. you can't Here yeah we, this, I just, this is where I, that i really hitchcock, want you to fail right now this is where that hitchcock uh, category really comes to the play. That one go. point steal, guys, you can, you can confer. You chose number 11. Category is 90s movies. 90s okay. movies. They were probably alive then. In the movie Demolition Man, what items oh, have been three shells. toilet paper? Three shells. He doesn't see know. Boom! He doesn't yes! See oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Yes! Oh, oh my Thanks God. That is a huge upset. The darling, critically acclaimed, one oh point. My oh my God. God! That one thing the crowd's going that is right now. Incredible. Just beat the favorites can to win this whole thing. I am. That was a shocked, huge steal by Vanessa. I'm really surprised, Christian, because these oh these my. kids no movies, man. They hung in there. They got wow. a big steal. Bibiani been asking for Hitchcock. He got it, and they faltered. It was look. It was that Hitchcock thing that really because it had they just maybe even taken multiple choice on that one yep. other one. That one point difference made all of the difference. My lord, one point late to the party now advances into the second round. There are a lot. This this tournament oh just my opened up. Yep. There is a lot of things, and we're going to hear from I'm sure a very angry Ricky Haber. And we're going to also talk to whew, late to the party. Here we go. Let's take it to Emma Fife. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Emma Fife here with, I can't believe it, but I am delighted to be saying this, the victorious late to the party, Robert and Vanessa. Woo. The drive from Arizona so was totally worth it. Seven and a that half That was incredible. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely worth it. Now, you guys, this was a huge upset. Everybody thought that Critically Incredible Acclaimed were upset. going to be the next champions. They thought that they were going to beat the Patriots and take the team belt. Do you guys want to apologize to all the fans who've got, you know, Movie Trivia <laughs> Schmodown Fantasy League teams whose brackets have been completely busted? A part of me wants to, but no. No, no. we're definitely not sorry for winning. Um, but you know what? We were actually going to come dressed as Ghostbusters and pull off, like, the bracket busters. But we thought that would just be a little too, you know, looking too far ahead. A little too on the nose, Correct. maybe. But, I mean, Correct. hey, it would have actually totally worked out for you. I mean, if you guys beat three more teams, then you will get a chance to take on the Patriots. You guys could be the heroes of the Schmodown. That would be incredible. You know, <laughs> sorry. <Go ahead. laughs> Obviously, we uh, are very just blown away by this. We did think we had a chance to win, for sure. Um, but when it came down to that first round, don't get me wrong, our energy was starting to slip a little bit. Uh, but when they were missing the same questions we were, that held us in the entire time. Yeah, um, it, f it felt like it was going to be okay. Yeah. And you guys came back so strong with that comedy round. I mean, that yes. was absolutely incredible, and that was clutch to your victory. You must have been feeling pretty damn good after that. Oh, yes. Especially <laughs> after going up against Team Action, and we just got a bad rap with the final round, and then the wheel wasn't exactly what we wanted, but, you know, going off of, what was it, classics and the comedies, I, I mean, that like definitely I said, is our wheelhouse, for the, sure. No pun intended. 
the wheel too like and the, just the way the wheel went and it went in our favor and uh, I'm so happy it did. Yeah, it absolutely can make you or break you or still break you in the case yeah. of Critically Acclaimed, who chose that Hitchcock category, and you guys got the big steal that won you the game. Now, that was Vanessa, huge. I need to know, did you actually know the answer? Or was, to be fair, I did. That was, like, besides Psycho, uh, Stage Fright is the only other Hitchcock movie <laughs> I know. So it was just, like, an alternate, like I said, an alternate reality. I was just like, oh. And it's just like the back of your brain opens up and the answer is right there. Yep. It was it was true movie trivia knowledge rather than the good old Makuga style luck. How are you guys feeling now after this? Are you riding high? Are you ready to keep going and take on more teams? I'm feeling pretty good, but at the same time, I kind of want to like, because if you ride too high, you see them fall like critically acclaimed did. So next, you guys are going to be taking on either Wolves of Steel or Josh Makuga and his new mystery partner. Which of them would you rather see? Would you rather go against Wolves of Steel, who you know are very strong competitors, or face Wolves the unknown? Steel. I've given this a lot of thought before we came into this. I was like thinking if we did win, who I would want. To be fair, I would want to go up against Wolves of Steel because Wolves of Steel are like one of my favorite teams in the match. Right. But to be like to make it easy, I think I would want to go with uh, a Makuga. So we shall see. Tactically, I guess, yeah, going up against Makuga, and we don't know who Makuga is partnering up with. So that kind of gives us that little bit of a desire to go that way when the fork is in the road. But, but at the same time, I would love to go against Riley and, and Clark, um, honestly, just because they are our heroes. So going up against your heroes, there's no better story than for fans that came from Tucson, Arizona to face the former champ and rookie of the year in the Schmodown wow. on the way to the possible championship well fortunately you guys will have a few more seven and a half hour drives in which you can really bone up on your movie <laughs> trivia i have a feeling you guys are going to continue to do very well in this tournament here so Thank congratulations you, again to you way. guys late to the party ladies and gentlemen we will be oh right God. back with the losers critically acclaimed and we are back with the growling commandos is that what you all are going by here Critically acclaimed Ricky and friends. Well, h hold on just a second because I've I've dealt with losses. I know embarrassment. Yeah, I, I know upset. Yep. Yeah. And I am a new person. And I am the greatest manager. So I'm going to hold it all in because I know what they're going through right now. And that was a fluke. You guys, you knew the answers. You were a little too eager, but you knew the answers. And I just want to say that that five point question was bullshit because that's not even movie trivia. That is a meme. I knew that answer. So it was a bit unfair. We still got singles coming up. I have all the confidence in the world. I'm bottling it up. And I want you to know that I'm proud of both of you today. All right. Wow. Um, okay. I support. <laughs> support will win. Uh, there you go, guys. Okay. Well, I guess hopefully Ricky's a decent manager because he's terrible at movie trivia. Yeah. Now, Fibs, <laughs> you have faced defeat before, but Whitney, this is this is the first time you've lost. Tell me, how does it feel? Uh, this is an unfamiliar flavor for me. Um, it's not. I don't think it fits me very well. Uh, it's going to take a, a little getting used to, but I can take this, process it inside myself, and become the better person that I know that I am. I see, all trying to take a page out of your manager's book, I guess. So, guys, this was a pretty big upset. I mean, you guys talk a really big game, and yet here we are. You're standing on this side of me in the loser circle. How's it feeling? <laughs> it's more of a square, really. But, uh, yeah, no, listen, we, we, we lost by one point. One okay. measly, no, uh, measly solitary point is what it came uh, down to. And, and yeah, that, that five-point question was... Um, hmm. It, it, it was a one-point question. That's a one-point question. No, yeah. that, was, that was a ridiculous question. But regardless, uh, I am going to take this in stride. I am going to take this in stride because those late to, to the party kids, they're going to have to drive all the way over here across state lines more times. It's going to cost them so much gas money. Ha! We win by default. Pick me up some turquoise on the way. Wow. Yeah, get I, some alien jerky. I, I would say, actually, people would probably argue the opposite, that, you know, it makes it worth it that they drove out here and then defeated you guys, who were certain that there was absolutely no way that you were going to possibly <laughs> lose. 
And we've got some hey, some boy. real, hey, real, hey, real albeit so former tell winners. Me, tell, me, tell me what it's like to win a huge game like this. You I'll know you really, really well. I'll tell you what it's like to win a belt, which you're not going to do this time, are you? Yeah. Hey, it's <laughs> like to lose that belt. Good job you did on the I never lost a belt. You never won a belt either. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. Either. Great stuff there. Uh, you guys look. Hey, you guys. You guys uh, did a good, decent job. I mean, you, 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 you know, you, you knew a lot of the Alfred Hitchcock questions. Sure. You didn't know them all. Yeah. But uh, you know, you did all right. You lost by a point. That Liz, point, you got stolen from you. At least you tried. Yeah. I mean, you know, seriously. guys. I think they're handing out participation trophies yeah, out right there. So there. pick one up yeah, yeah. on your way yeah. out. You know, good for you. And wait, you don't, you know, good uh, for you. Look, I, you know, I respect you. You're new in this. This is a flavor you're mm -hmm. gonna taste probably more than once. This is how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, Bibbs, you can, uh, def you can uh, stonewall all you want. Exactly. Describe that flavor to him. And let me tell you something. You talk all that shit. Winning the title is no joke. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of luck, a lot of knowledge. Lot and of you, blew it, yeah, you yeah, blew it tonight. You blew it tonight. So, but luck, but maybe, you know, if, if, if yeah. we're not saying we're going to win. We're not no, saying no, we're going to win. No, no, no. We're not saying we're going to win. No, no, no. no. I'm standing right here. You don't have to yell. I don't have to yell. That would but be like, stupid. Wow. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but if we happen to lose, then I have no problem seeing you next. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. I, I think I understand, although I think they're doing a bunch of snowdown games. Yeah. So it's probably going to be a bit. But like, uh, yeah, nerdy, yeah, hey, nerdy stupid gonna, talk. Nerdy stupid gonna, talk. Nerdy stupid gonna, talk to deflect what's happening. You're going to lose again. And you're going to lose your hat. Again. You're going to lose that hat. And you're going to kiss my boot. Yeah. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. Weird <laughs> fetish for that. Weird fetish for that. Weird fetish. I love that. Anyway, I can't say that I'm particularly heartbroken over this defeat today. I think Why? it's it's good. It's humbling for you guys. You know, you've been you've been talking a big game and again, maybe this will as Whitney said earlier, teach you guys to become better people. So, thank you so much critically acclaimed. My she condolences on people. your loss. And now back to you, Christian and Ken. That's just me. Oh, well, look at that. Look at Roca coming in there and laughing and, and I don't even that and, and yeah, talking and taunting and Bibiani obviously just talking more about the singles league and, and you know Ricky I, I liked what Ricky did back there though. Ricky Ricky stood back. He didn't even turn on his team. He yeah. said, We'll be back, we'll take out top ten once they lose. And if top ten does lose that match late to the party, top ten, that's next. Absolutely, and as far as critically acclaimed, this isn't just some throwaway match. This is the ultimate schmodown. Late to the party is good. I think critically acclaimed is still a very dangerous team. Very Sometimes dangerous. that's how it falls, though. Look what they, I think the problem was also is that we knew that Bibiani and Whitney knew Hitchcock. We yep. know that they did. I think they answered too fast. Sometimes. They were answering. I mean, it, that round was going so fast that it just boom, 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 boom. The it, it moved as fast as um, the Dark Tower. Right? <laughs> yeah, so, all right, so now... Too soon, I apologize. All right, so he, guys, it was a tremendous match. What a victory. I can hear a lot of the fans out there screaming and yelling. The Darlings late to the party are now one and one. And what a victory Ooh. to get over critically acclaimed, knocking out Bibiani, or not knocking out, but taking out Bibiani and Whitney. Man, how about you guys? Did, what did you think of the match? Do you Incredible. think the late to the party can take Holy it all? Cow. Could they be the ones that face the Patriots at the Schmodown Spectacular? As you saw Dagnino pop into that interview, he thinks that it won't happen. But what do you guys think? Go ahead and comment. Now take it to the Movie Trivia Facebook page. Comment, like, do all that stuff here on this video. Check it out. And make sure you check out the Schmodown Rundown. You want to get a breakdown of this match and all the other matches that happened? Go to the page go to the SK Plus network and go check out the Schmodown Rundown. Ken, any final thoughts here? Other, other, the final thought is anything can happen in the Ultimate Schmodown. Anything can happen and it will happen as we are just, we are only about three or four matches into this thing. A lot more coming up this week. We'll see you soon. Josh McCuga, what do you got? What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Josh McCuga here with your fantasy update post critically acclaimed versus late to the party. Late to the party. I will give them this. They are a critical darling. They are underrated. They are not overrated. They came into this, they were like, they, they reacted to our videos on YouTube. We had no idea who they were. They drive in from Arizona. They light the place on fire. Now, critically acclaimed coming into the team tournament, for real though, was the favorite. Everybody thought, oh, critically acclaimed is gonna make their all the way to the Patriots. Critically acclaimed, led by probably the most overrated competitor after his first match in William Bibiani. The dude has literally folded like a card table at an old person's bridge game in the middle of an Arizona desert, has folded, and his teammate, Whitney Seibold, is a nice guy. He hates most everything, and he also hates to lose, but that's all they've been doing lately. They are out of the team tournament, and that means they are off your fantasy squad. We may not see them for a long, long time. They're good but they're not great. 
And I will tell you this much. Late to the party may be my new favorite team in Absolutely. the Schmodown. The Schmodown, the ultimate trivia, the, the movie trip. God damn it. I'm really good at words. I swear to Christ. If you edit this, I will lose my mind. The movie trivia Schmodown, late to the party, is the Critical Darlings. They are it. That's it. That's the movie trivia Schmodown. I'm out. All right. Wow, what an upset. Oh, my. Robin and Vanessa, major props to you guys for pulling that out. Especially Vanessa that with that huge steal in the Hitchcock category. Wow. I honestly did not think they were going to be able to do that as much as I wanted them to. Uh, but... I could not be more proud of them. Uh, hold on one second. Um, yeah, that was incredible. And whew, again, so, so proud of Late to the Party for not only representing the fans, but for an incredible round. Uh, at this point, I see them going, you know, at least two or three more rounds deep. That would be awesome if they faced Wolves of Steel. Um, yeah, I am just blown away by what I just witnessed. That is incredible. And in the Fan Reaction League, so many brackets are busted now. So many people had critically acclaimed going all the way, and now that's... Not going to happen. Wow. Robin, Vanessa, congratulations, you guys. I am honored to be your friends. And best of luck to you as you continue in this tournament. That is fantastic. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me for right now. Uh, what a week in the Schmodown. Uh, four more matches coming next week. Still in the team tournament. Uh, this has been incredible, just an incredible ride so far, a lot of upsets, a lot of great games, and we're just getting started. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much always, for watching. Until next time, I will see you at the movies. Bye-bye. That was incredible. My gosh.